Mr. and Jaw Prairie Dog. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers, but you can use whatever you have. You also need some paper and something to go with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Because we're using markers to draw and color with, we're also drawing on marker paper. And my favorite brand is Canson. I just like this brand because it works really well. It saves the markers and makes them last a lot longer than drawing on regular printer paper. Yeah. Let's first start by drawing our prairie dog's eye. I'm gonna draw a circle right here. And I'm kind of drawing it off to the right, so if we want to draw another one, we could draw over here on the left. Let's draw another smaller circle in the top left and color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. This makes the eyes look shiny. And I like that your eye is smaller and that's okay that our two drawings look different, right? Yeah. The most important thing is- To have fun. Yeah, and to- Practice. Practice, remember to have fun and practice. It's okay if your drawings look different too. Okay, let's keep going. Now we're gonna draw our prairie dog's head. We're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes out like this. And then we're gonna come down and then we're gonna curve back in. Prairie dogs are like squirrels. Yeah. Uh, underground squirrels. Mm -hmm. They don't climb trees. But they stand on their feet a lot. Yeah, <laughs> they stand up like humans. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw the nose and I'm gonna draw a little V shape right here on the end. And now we're gonna draw a line down, kind of turns it into the letter Y. And then we could draw a little frowny face. I'm gonna draw it smiling though. So I'm gonna draw a little curve that comes up like this <laughs> and another curve going the other way on the other side. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> now we could draw the back of the head coming down and then we're gonna add a little ear right here. Yeah, there you go. And I'm just going back over this to smooth out the line. Now we're gonna draw our prairie dog's back and the back of the head too. We're gonna curve down like this and I'm gonna kind of curve back out too. So it, it comes out a little wider for the back of our little prairie dog. Okay, and then we can draw the belly. I'm gonna start here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down like this and we can come almost like we're going all the way down. I'm gonna stop there though and we could draw the foot. We're gonna draw a curve goes like this and it matches. It's kind of in between these two lines and comes down to the same length as the back. I like that yours, yeah. You can make that side come down a little further, just like that. Oh, I love your drawing so much. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw the foot and we're gonna draw a sideways U coming out. And then we're gonna curve into the back line right here to finish. <laughs> Let's add two little toe lines too. And we can finish the belly curving in to the foot or the leg. Let's draw the other leg. We're gonna curve out right here. So you're gonna draw a little curve right there. And I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna draw a little curve coming out. Yes, that's awesome. And then we're gonna draw the same, repeat the same step for the other foot. Yes, and then we're gonna curve into the belly. <laughs> and then we're gonna add those two little toe lines. What's our little prairie dog missing? His arms. Yeah, his cute little arms. <laughs> we're gonna draw an arm that comes down like this. And then we're gonna draw a U shape, just like the feet coming down and then back up. <laughs> then we can draw two little toe lines also. Okay, now let's draw the other arm. I'm gonna draw another curve right here. And then we're gonna draw that U shape for the rest of the arm. And then we could draw a little elbow line coming up too. And then let's draw two little toe lines. They also have thumbs, but we're gonna leave those off. What's the last thing we're missing? It's tail. Yeah, let's draw a little tail that curves out. Then we're gonna curve back around and connect into the bottom. Also, we're almost done with our drawings. We still need to do one more thing. Color it. Yeah, this part will speed up. So remember to pause the video at the end to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah.
We did it! We finished drawing and coloring our prairie dogs and they turned out perfect. I especially love yours. And we even added an extra prairie dog. We just used the same steps, but we flipped it so that it's facing the other direction. And we only drew half because it's coming out of a hole. Yeah, I also like the clouds in the background. Yeah, you guys can pause the video right now to match our same coloring and even add the clouds or something else in the background. You can also add more prairie dogs. Yeah, you could draw them really small in the background. If you have the same Art for Kids Hub alcohol-based markers, you can use the same colors as we did. The first color we used was 24. This is a brown, a light brown color. Then we used 26 is a light yellow that we used for the belly. Then what color did we use for the dirt? 100. Yeah, and then what color did we use for the sky? 66 blue. But also remember, you can use whatever you have. You don't have to use the same markers. You can use crayons or even colored pencils. Oh, and don't forget to add the whiskers. Oh yeah. <laughs> We added those. I also added little rocks. You could add plants and also maybe there's some people in the background. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing prairie dogs. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.